Hey nurses, nurse rooms here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to cannulate basic and easy ABF cannulation. When I say basic and easy, it means ABF access with no complications. But of course, with no right training, the procedure will not look as easy as it seems. So for nurses who just started their training, keep watching. And to those who have been a dialysis nurse for a couple of years now, What's the one thing that you can't forget on your first cannulation experience? I'll start. I'm not sure if it was my first cannulation experience, but it's something that I can't forget. Well, we all know that there is always a stigma when it comes to new dialysis nurses, especially as soon as we start cannulating. So their favorite words, practice. You practice and nanasad sila, practice nanasad ta. Well, I just really hope they try to understand us the same way we do. We tried this hard to ignore the situation, but we have never thought that the power of the words thrown at us can really bring a negative energy affecting our performance. As a result, failed cannulation. And that's exactly what happened. It got me nervous, it disrupted my concentration, and my thoughts seemed hazy. And at the back of my mind, Lord, ikaw na bahala sa ako. And poof, I must have stuck the needle deep since there was no backflow. Fast forward to now, those are the times that I could not forget because I intentionally remember them. They have become the foundation that molded me to what I am right now. But do take note that mistakes are not our best teachers unless we are a good learner and take lessons from them and improve. Now let's watch the video. First, prepare the materials. Venous and arterial fistula needle, syringe for heparin, underpad, alcohol or betadine swabs, and of course, plaster. I pre-cut tapes around 9 pieces, 6 to tape both sides, 2 to anchor both catheter tubing, 1 piece for the dangling blood lines. Place the pad under the arms. Take out the fistula needles from its package. Make sure to unscrew the needle tube cap and lock it again to make sure that the caps are securely locked and close. You wouldn't want to see the blood gushing out to the floor. If it did, immediately close the clamp. I'm preparing the heparin here for the whole treatment and not for cannulation. Dawn gloves. Alcohol lies. There are patients who are allergic to betadine, so always assess first. Apply tourniquet. Assess and touch skin. Doing so can help glide the needle easily and at the same time lessen the pain. Secure the wing with plaster. Do the same with the remaining site. The patient's venous site has a bit resistance inside, which you can notice in the video. Secure the wings fully with tapes. You can have your own technique here. Now, 
then secure the tubing. I secure it this way to give an allowance and avoid needle dislodgement. Also, nursing is an art. Always make everything presentable and pleasing to the eyes. That's it. Hope you learned something from this video. If yes, don't forget to click like, leave a comment for some video suggestion, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Next stop will be decannulation, so stay tuned as I take you with me in discovering nursing career. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.